Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add attack damage on any character that you add in the multiplayer zombie survival template. It's going to uh, show you how to add, a, add the damage and stuff to the character. So I got this cool lion character here that I'm going to set up a, an attack and a couple of bones so that way it'll be able to attack the player. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on his head, I'm going to add a socket, and I'm just going to call it his lion uh bottom jaw and i'm just going to place it down here on his bottom jaw like that and then we can go at another socket and i'll call this one lion top jaw now if your character has bones already rigged where you want them then all you have to use is those bone names but this one doesn't didn't have any bones where i wanted them so i'm just gonna use these all right so now that we have those, we're going to save, and let's go to our, where is this, HTT, AI Zombie, we want to click on Base Zombie, right click, and create a child blueprint, and I'm going to call this Lion Character, and we'll open him up, of course he's not a lion yet, so we want to click on his mesh, and then click on Lion. So we have Lion and Lioness, we'll click on Lion. There we go. Now we need to click on the lion character self up here. We're going to scroll down, find his attack range, which is probably going to be a little bigger, so we'll probably 275 since he's longer than a zombie is. <laughs> and let's see, we want the attack here. We're going to need a, an animation for that, but let's set up these um, bones first. So let's see. The bones are going to be down here called attack bone names. Attack bone names. They're in an array, so you can click this button right here to add more. Uh, I'm going to put in the ones that I just did lion top jaw and lion bottom jaw. So, those, this is the two joints right here that are going to, the two sockets that are going to be tracing and actually dealing the damage if they hit anything. So now let's go back up here and add this, uh, let's make sure you can't be gibbed, let's uncheck that, you don't want to, unless you just want to set that up. And let's see, let's make it an, an animation form. So we come up here, we go to lion, animation, we have a bite thing here, let's create an animation montage. We'll call it lion bite. Open it up. And there we have our lion, and he's biting. Let's just go ahead and scroll down here, and under notifies, like right there, I guess, is where it would start. So we right-click, anim notify state, zombie attack notify, and where does that end? He bites, comes back up. So we'll just drag it down here to the end, for the end point. So in between here and here he can deal damage to players and trace for hits on those bones we set up so now let's come back over here and we're going to set the attack animation to that you can add more animations if you want and it'll pick between them but i'm just going to go with this one for now and let's just go ahead and make this uh a little wider that way it has a little bit of collision here I don't think I needed to adjust that one. <laughs> we'll leave it like that and then just shrink the width to like something like that maybe. Unreal Engine's not the greatest for four-legged characters. Uh, you have to make your own custom pawn but then if you do that you miss out on this nice character movement component that comes with all built-in characters. But I'm thinking this is pretty much set up for two-legged humanoid type of characters. So you'd have to recreate your own character movement. And we ain't got time for all that because that's a lot of networking and a lot of advanced stuff. So we're just going to go with this. Alright, so now this thing, this lion needs a uh, animation blueprint. So let's uh, set him up one real quick. We'll go to uh, AI Zombie. We'll just throw it in here for now. Blueprint, let's see, animation, blueprint. There we go, and then we just type in lion, lion skeleton, X1, 
click OK. We'll call it Lion Anim BP. Okay, and then we'll open it up. And I'm not going to set this whole thing up because you guys can, you know, you might know what you're doing. Uh, there's a ton of tutorials on it. You can just look at uh, any tutorial. This is nothing special for the template. I'm just going to look for a walk animation. Lion walk. Boom. And let's just do a slot. Default slot. And then plug it in. So this slot will let you play montages. We're just going to let our montage up here. Um, default right here. Default slot. If you wanted it to only, if you want to be able to walk and bite at the same time, you can make this slot into something. Uh, you can create a new one. Make a new slot here called like upper body. I mean, we can go ahead and do it, I guess. And then you would just change this to upper body. But then you have to make sure you set your animation montage here for the bite to upper body. And you have to drag this blue thing or this green thing to reset the animation. But for now, we're not going to do that. We're just want, going to keep it simple so I can show you how it works and we'll be good to go. So we'll change this back to default. Because if you want an upper body, then you'd have to use a blend per bone and all that stuff. And so I could show you if you want me to. So let's see. We open this up, open this up. So you can see right here the uh, the zombie, he can run, and, but he can also attack at the same time. So his legs are playing a run animation while his upper body is playing the attack. And the way I do that is use an upper body and I blend per bone right here. <clears throat> and you set up the uh, bone inside the layer with all these drop downs. Spine 2, which is somewhere right in there, one of these bones. Anything above spine 2 is considered upper body and uh, can play the upper body attack animation. Everything below plays his running animation. So that's what you'd do over here with the lion if you wanted to. You could use my zombie as a base zombie as a guide. But for now, we're just going to go with simple so I can show you how it works. So we got lion set to default and he got his attack animation and now all we have to do I think is just drop him into the game lion character he's dropped in we hit play he comes walking over here oh we forgot to set it hold on lion character <laughs> mash go to animation blueprint and then we need to set lion and a BP there we go should have known I'd forget something so now he's walking so now we come into the game. Now we got our lion. He's coming at us. And he's biting me. You can see he's doing the traces on those joints right that I put on his mouth. And there you go. I got ate by a lion. <laughs> Kuna Matata, right? All right. So I guess I could go ahead and show you a little bit of what I was telling you, just just because people will probably ask, and it's good good stuff to know. So you would set up his state machine with all of your characters idle, crawling, jumping, whatever your character does. And then I cached it here and then use that for this. So I'm going to copy and paste the blend per bone here. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk and also be able to attack. So let's change this to upper body and let's see. Base locomotion just plugs in there. So, I guess we would just cache, if I can spell it right. We would save our state machine, but in this, in this case it's just one animation. We'd call this something like base loco motion, and then you would get the base loco motion on use pose, use cache pose, base loco motion, plug it in, copy and paste it and then copy that move it here all right and then this one would be set to default you could also you could set this to something create a slot i call like full body or something if you wanted to play full body animations all right 
So now uh, we're blending for bone, but we have to set the bone. So let's look at the lion. Where is his skeleton here? So where does this lion's animation mainly play from? It kind of is a full body animation. But we don't want to play a full body animation. Uh, how about we just go from like this bone right here. What is this bone? Spine 2. Lion dash spine 2. I'm going to copy that name. We're going to go into the blend per bone, drop it down, paste the name right here, lion spine 2. So now, if we go to our lion bite, change this to upper body, save and play, you should be able to walk and attack at the same time. So yeah, as you can see, he's still, try he's still walking and it's playing animation. <coughs> That's how you can blend animations together. You blend in his walk in, blend in with the attack animation. It doesn't really work great. I mean, it doesn't look perfect for a lion. I don't think that's what you would want to do. But with like a zombie or something, you definitely probably want to do that, which is what I did with the base zombie. A lion, I would probably use a, just an in place animation. So, like this lion animation bite. I would. This is the animation for the bite here. It's like. I would enable root motion and you set it to anim first frame, save it, and then inside of the actual montage, I would set this to default slot, or in this case, uh, yeah, default slot is considered full body. And then we would go to here, here, yeah, we should be good. It's set to default, which means it's going to be walking, it's going to come into here hit the default and play the full thing. So let's see if it works. Lion comes at me, bites, you can see it stops and plays the whole animation and then starts to walk again. Only problem with that is you gotta make sure you got his distance attack distance right otherwise he's gonna be doing like what he's doing right there and attack too early. But those are all things you just tweak. So that's pretty much it. Um, all you have to do is just set up your uh, set up your animation um, blueprint, set it up the way you want, and then make sure you have this uh, zombie attack notify here for the actual attack in, and also make sure you have the bones set for your attack bone names. But then that's it. So thanks for watching guys, I hope that explains how you can uh, make your enemies and characters attack. It's really easy, I know I drug this video out really long, but hopefully I covered it all and you guys can make some cool characters. So check out my other videos and make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff I'm supposed to say and also go out to the Unreal Engine Marketplace and leave me a 5 star review if you like the template. It would really mean a lot and join the discord and share some of the cool stuff you've made or just talk to people and hang out if you want all right i'll see you guys later